Hello, Todd Long here on a beautiful Sunday in March, March 29th, I believe. Um, wanted to give you some video tips. You know, our real estate world is changing due to the governor's order that just came out this past week. And I'll read to you that it says, for the purpose of the proclamation, individuals may leave their residence only to perform any of the following essential activities. And seeing a house is not on the essential activity list. So we as brokers are allowed to go do brokerage services. But according to the order, our buyers are not allowed to go to the house for us. So that means as a broker, if you have a buyer that is going to be looking for real estate, you're going to have to... a couple of video tips to kind of help you as you're shooting video so first of all I do suggest you do a virtual tour our MLS now is allowing you to do virtual open houses and you've always been allowed to post branded and unbranded videos on your MLS and that gets feed fed out to other sites and I find that buyers do definitely click on the videos and watch those so I do suggest that you start shooting some video for your listings if you have not been doing that in the past um, a couple of things I just want to make sure you know about doing video for your listings. I like to shoot a video that you walk straight from the front door through the whole house, make it one long shot through the bedrooms, through the living room, through the kitchen, and back to the front door because people find that they can get a much better sense of layout of the, the house if it's one shot versus edited shots. It's also going to make it a lot easier for you if you don't have to edit the video. But make sure that you move very slowly so that, because if you move too fast and they pause the video to look at something specific, it can actually cause some blur and therefore it doesn't give a good image. So make sure you move very slowly and make sure when you move into a room, go all the way to the back of that room, make your turn and come back and look at the, the doorway of the room. Pause there for a little while, move very slowly and then move out of that room and go somewhere else. And when you're in rooms that have special features, you know, it's quite all right to take a pause and look at a fireplace, look at crown molding, look at things that are specific that you want to point out about that property. And also you can choose to be in the video. You can have your face, your likeness in the video that is allowed on the MLS. For an unbranded video, you can't say your name, your firm, or how to contact you. For a branded video, you can, but you can definitely talk about the property if you want to. You don't have to be on the video. You can just talk about the property as you walk through it, just as if you had a buyer there with you. Or you can choose to not use the audio at all and put some text over it later or, or not. Uh, but I did want to let you know that is permissible for you to actually be in the video. I use a DJI Osmo. That's what I'm currently using to shoot this. Um, the thing I like about a DJI Osmo, it is a little bit more expensive, obviously, than just shooting from your cell phone, but it has a gimbal on it so that even when you move, it is nice and smooth. Like, I'll even show you when you walk around a little bit, it's nice and smooth. So if I look at this house over here, even when you walk by that house, it's a pretty smooth image. The reason that's important and you know i don't choose to use my cell phone for these is because you can use your cell phone it's just going to be bouncier it's not going to quite be as professional looking for the videos but in this day and age just get it done with video <laughs> don't worry so much about it being professional or not professional you're going to win out by having the video at this point let's see oh for your buyers, if you choose to go to a property that is not your listing and do a video for your buyers, FaceTime or otherwise, you can shoot a video with your camera, phone, however you're going to shoot it. And if you have a Gmail account, you have a YouTube channel. You can log into YouTube with your Gmail credentials and upload a video. But I want to make sure you upload that video as an un an unlisted video not private not public private video means only you can see it public means the whole world can see it 
Unlisted means if you share that link with someone, they can see it, but only the people who have that link can see it. That's very important if you're going to somebody else's listing because you don't want to publicly put out a video on YouTube of someone else's listing that you don't have permission to advertise that listing. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I've missed. I don't think that's, I think that's pretty much it. So move slow, make sure you take time to look at details and start using video for your listings. I think this is gonna be very important to give us an advantage in this market. You will find that buyers will feel comfortable, some buyers will feel comfortable making offers on your listings as long as they've got a really good feel of the layout of the land, of the layout of the property. And I've been considering offering my video services <laughs> to do some videos for agents. If that's something you're interested in, reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk to you about that. But otherwise, get out there and list some properties. Have a great week. All right, we're now up in the bonus room. I hit the stop button instead of the pause button, so it is a separate video. And as you can tell, it's on the street side. I'm going to also go back out to the front and get a picture of the pool area. It's not very far from here. It's easily walkable distance from here. <laughs>